Welcome back to the channel guys. So today I wanted to take a look at a brand new flash cart for the Super Nintendo that just recently released. The Super Everdrive X6 from Crix. Now this is a fairly budget friendly flash cart that adds some compatibility over the previous version, the Super Everdrive X5. Both the X5 and the X6 have the same form factor and functionality is essentially the same. They both use micro SD cards to load your games onto. And they both use the same firmware and have the same user interface, but there are some differences. Now, looking at the Super Nintendo, it did have a whole host of special chips or enhancement chips for numerous games, though well over 90% of the official library did not use special chips. There may be some games you may be interested in playing using a flash cart, and it's a must to know what you're spending your money on in order not to run into any surprises. Hence why we are doing this video today and comparing several flash carts. So I also do have the X5 and the SD2 SNES Pro ready to compare. So the X6 does cost about $20 more than the X5 at around that $80 price point. And with that additional cost, we get additional compatibility. That's typically the way it works, or at least you hope it works that way. Now the X5 Super EverDrive has around 95, 96% compatibility with the full official library as it does not have any support for special or enhancement chips whatsoever. With the X6 though, it does add 22 games from the DSP chipset, DSP 1, 1B, 2, 3, and 4, which includes games like Super Mario Kart and Pilot Wings. And that brings the compatibility with the X6 to around 97%, a little over 97% compatible with the full library. So, you know, if those games are important to you, those DSP games, then the extra $20 may be worth it to play on original or clone hardware. Yes, I've tested these flash carts out. They do run on most clone hardware, at least the ones I have. Can't say for sure with everything, but you know, the original Super Nintendo, obviously that's what these are designed for. The Super NT works just fine. And the ones I've tested from uh, Hyperkin and Retrobit works on those just fine as well. Now, like I stated earlier, the X5 and the X6, they both use the same firmware and UI. And with that UI, it does give you that familiar look that most EverDrives use. Nothing special, but it does get the job done. Now within the UI for either the X5, X6, pressing the select button will bring up your options menu. Give you, you know, a few things you can mess with that you'll mo most likely just look at once and just never use. One feature though that may be important to some and get frequent use is cheat codes. There's no need to have a game genie as it is built in here. So that is pretty cool. Now when setting up an SD card for any of these flash cards, I, I think it's important to make sure you have the special chip games separated into their own folders, like as in addition to, so you know what they are, especially if you're not familiar with all the different special chips and what games are, you know, use those chips. You know, if by chance you load up an incompatible game, it could do a couple things on any of these flash carts. It may just not run the game at all. You just get a black screen or it may run the game just all glitched out, missing sprites, sounds, that kind of thing. So kind of important in my opinion to make sure you know what the special chip games are and easy enough to just keep them separated anyway. Now, if DSP games are not enough for you, you could always go with the SD2 SNES Pro or whatever the hell they're calling it nowadays, the FX pack or something. Either, either way, I don't care. It's the SD2 SNES to me. That's what I purchased and that's what I'm always gonna call it. I don't care about the other name. <laughs> but the, SNE, the SD2 SNES Pro has the highest level of compatibility out of any of these flash carts for the Super Nintendo. Does sit at over 99%, nearly 100%, very close, very close. It's only missing compatibility of five games out of the 76 special chip games. But also, you gotta keep in mind, those five games, they were never released in the US, but some do have English translations available, like one of the big ones, Far East of Eden. So you do have to keep that in mind, as if you wanna play that game, it does require the SPC7110 chip to play and you may be waiting for it to get ported to the SD2 SNES as I haven't heard any news on the implementation with that in a long while. It was said to be being worked on though the last time I checked 
but I just haven't had heard any news in, in a bit. So it is worth noting though, as somebody will point it out, because people just can't help themselves, that the SPC7110 chip is supported on Mr. I've done a video, it's no surprise. It is supported on Mr. and via emulation options, but we're here talking about flash carts for original hardware, so get off my nuts. That's what we talking about. And unfortunately, yeah, that chip does not work on these flash carts. You, if you wanna play it on original hardware, you know, you can get like an English translated cartridge of, for example, Far East of Eden Zero, Tengiel Machiao Zero. A game is expensive if you get an English translated version because it does use the original board and whatnot. Um, but those are the options right now. Now, with the SD2 SNES Pro, you can play a lot of games that are not available on the other flash carts. As an example, you can play Super Mario RPG, which uses the SA1 chip, Street Fighter Alpha 2, and Star Ocean, which use the SDD1 chip, which is a newer implementation for the SD2 SNES Pro. You can also play games like Star Fox, Star Fox 2, which use the Super FX chips. You're getting 71 out of the 76 special chip games as compatible on this flash cart, among other features like real-time clock, MSU1 enhancements, which with MSU1, it's full motion video and CD audio hacks for games. A lot of people really dig that stuff. I don't. That's just I just like playing the games the way they were meant to be played. I don't I don't need the CD audio and whatnot, but some people really dig that stuff. And it is available on that flash cart where on the Super EverDrive series it is not. At least not with these variants. I don't know if anything newer will come out in the future, but the SD2 SNES Pro is pretty much the ultimate flash cart for the Super Nintendo at this time. And with all that additional power, does come additional price. It's typically the way it works. The SD2 SNES Pro is priced around the $200 price point. Now, myself, I like, you know, what all these carts do and the varying compatibility and whatnot, but my preference is definitely the SD2 SNES Pro. But, you know, if you're on a budget or just cannot justify the extra cost for that level of compatibility, I think either the X5 or X6 are perfectly fine. They do support well over 90% of the library. You're gonna be able to play most of the games you want. You know, with these flash cards, you could play stuff like English translations of games, Final Fantasy V, the list goes on and on, homebrews and hacks. That's one of the biggest values, I think, with these types of products, with flash cards. And you know, there's a lot of games out there if you're into original hardware, there's a lot of cartridges that are just astronomical with a double, you know, two S's, astronomical in price, just ridiculous. So this is one way to be able to have access to those on your original hardware. These games are like 30 years old. Play them however you want. Original hardware, you guys know what's up. Emulate it any which way you want. I don't give two shits just about them options and one option a lot of people are into is original hardware. Flash carts is one way to unlock that library plus additional things that you normally wouldn't be able to do on original hardware. I think that's pretty cool. If you're, you know, in the market for any of this kind of stuff, if you want more information, like a breakdown on each cartridge, I'll put, you know, a link to Stone Age Gamer, which they have a nice handy chart, which I did reference quite a bit in this video to get the information from. I'll put a link to them if you want to take a look at that or make a purchase of one of these flash carts from them or to the official EverDrive store, which you could purchase from as well. Prices are slightly different between the two. Take a look, links in the description. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me, watching this video today. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom. Bye.